So what I'm going to do is run through a sketchbook of mine. And this one has actually been um, quite roughed up over the years. So you can see that, that the, uh, the spine is gone. De La Rone, this is one of my favorite kind of sketchbooks. They are really very good sketchbooks, I have to say. 150 G GSM grams per meter squared, acid-free cartridge paper. Lovely. Okay, I've now got uh, my painting on the front. And you can see it's uh, actually coming apart. Now this one is 2012 again. The last one was 2012, it was a good year. Um, and so let's have a look at the first page. This was uh, a sketch for a show that we did, um, um, a group show with the Illustrators Guild of Ireland. Where was that? That was in town somewhere. Uh, and it was about the Beatles, I think. It was, the, it was on the anniversary of the Beatles. Maybe the 50th anniversary, something like that. So I, do, I did a stamp. Uh, Dear Prudence, so that was kind of all done in the, in the 1960s hippie style. Uh, here we go here, some stuff. I haven't looked at this for years. Just some doodles, really. Doodles here and here. Family being squeezed. This is obviously me. This, this is, seems to be a kind of a, a mind map. Belt tightening, yeah, it's all about sort of finances, emerging from the park, having been stripped of everything. Yeah, little guy lying down there, sardines in the can. Not really sure what that's all about, it might have led to something. This was an illustration for the Sunday Tribune. Uh, this uh, was a kind of a, a theme park thing with everyone sort of uh, on a roller coaster ride, I suppose, a roller coaster of finances. Um, and there are some other sketches for it there. Yeah, and this, when it was finished, in fact, was animated for a, a, I think it was a, a web ad. It could have been a TV ad. I think it, I saw it on the television actually. So somebody animated it really well, and this went whizzing up there, and it looked it looked very convincing actually. Oh look, there you go. That's an even better, better drawing of that illustration. But it was almost like that when it when it finished. So another illustration. I was doing a lot of work for the Sunday Tribune at that stage. I think that was a Sunday Tribune job. They're all kind of out at sea, bailing out. Obviously to do with finances. A little drawing by Emily, my youngest daughter. What I did. I went to have my hair cut and seemed to have recorded it in a sketch. Um, what a relief. New, now my barnet has been cut. I feel much better. Thank you very much. Shall I go in for open meeting? Don't feel like it. Open meeting, I think, was of the Illustrators Guild. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, this was a good one. This is my feelings about sort of, uh, I suppose, Dogs in the community, dog ownership. What is gross domestic product? It's when the bin men fail to collect on the appointed day, again. Dog shite in a bag. Soil grunties found by the canal. That actually happened. They weren't mine, I can tell you that. So, and what's the answer of what gross domestic product actually means? The answer, it is in fact the sum of all these things divided by the links effect. Yeah, don't know how I thought that one up. Drawings, uh, robots on a park bench. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Yeah. More doodles, characters. I was developing sort of kind of cartoonish characters there. Yeah, interesting. I'm still on about the building regulations, officer. <laughs> And the quality of uh, building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something there. What's that? Oh yeah, they're always talking about property porn in those days. 
in fact, that was what well, that's post crash. We were in the middle of the of the trough at that point. What's that say? I wanted to be a stand up comedian, but I was afraid that everyone would laugh at me. So, yeah. Cool stuff. What have I got? Um, what's interesting in here? That was another Sunday Times illustration, I think. Some characters. Uh, what's that all about? Interesting. I'd rather write a song, taking so long, taking my time over it. It's a serious business, you know, keeping silent, all being well. With the help of God and the following wind will be blown back on course. I don't know, I think these are just sort of ideas that I ne never actually got around to writing the song. Um, what's that? That's a family portrait. I drew that portrait of us, all us. But there were four children at the time, and my dad, and my mum, in the garden. That's the the garden shed that we had, and the what was it? A plane tree there, or was it a cherry tree? We had a cherry tree. Yeah. And the point is that the shed was all painted green. My grandmother painted it all green, and then she painted the trunk of the tree green because she didn't like to waste paint. But then, in reality, our dad painted us green. You know in a metaphysical sense, because, uh, you know, he made sure that we grew up knowing that we were Irish. This is in London, by the way, and you find a lot of that. The problem is, is I came here and then nobody thought we were Irish. Um, what have we got? That's all a bit. What that is. Things to put in your sketchbook. Um, what's okay? So that became this was a journey that my dad made on the Honda 90 all the way from London across the water to um, Cahasivine in South Kerry. So it was a, a very, very long and arduous journey for him on a Honda 90. And I gold leafed the back and uh, sort of, I suppose, what would I what would, it could be called uh, monumentalized the journey, I suppose, commemorated it in gold. That's the way I felt. I feel a little bit like this today. Just had a meeting with somebody, somebody. Lovely woman. It's no fun. No. What's that? Can't read it. Hmm. Yeah, anyway. Who was that about then? Doesn't anyone else think that somebody who needs multiple private jets and a helicopter and several cars and dozens of Rolex watches and all your money as well as their own and will ruin the economies of nations and who trades in nothing useful at all and for whom responsibility to one's fellow man is a meaningless concept and his, uh, patriotism is a sports jersey to be worn on match days is probably suffering from an extreme mental illness needing treatment in a secure facility rather than being treated as some kind of fucking guru yep okay i still believe that these morons that run the economies uh, who will send thousands oh i have added to it and who will send thousands of young men to their deaths and condemn countless innocent men women and children to unspeakable horror in order to defend profit there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look oh there yeah. that's that's a nice one that is uh, my i suppose the front of the house where i grew up and i I drew this. This was to commemorate a, an occasion when we jousted on bicycles, like knights of old. Except we used broom handles, and my brother was a lot bigger than me and had a far longer reach. Shoved that um, that, that broom handle down my throat. <laughs> a very painful experience. And then he got scared because he th thought he'd get in trouble, and uh, he. Uh, 
he kind of he gave me a one of his toys he gave me an airfix model <laughs> to make to try and shut me up yeah, so i don't think i split on him uh, that see look at that, how 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 that transferred all that soft pencil graphite transferred onto the page above that was a scene in uh, slattery's pub in rough mines but it's become so uh so degraded through opening and closing the pages that uh, you can't see it anymore hmm. let's have a look what else have we got uh, hmm. if you, oh uh, th this this was a good one that was a sketch for a a painting I did called the Festival of Mildew, just about Irish uh, summer festivals, and I just came up with one called the Festival of Mildew because it rained so much, of course, during the summer. Um, turn around, and this uh, summer just gone has been a good example of a rainy summer. Um, that was a sketch for a painting that I did in watercolour, actually, sort of based on the noddy. Um, Noddy series, and thank goodness in the end everybody began singing from the same hymn sheet. Yep, crucified Noddy. There's a, a meaning behind that, but I'm not going to tell you. And then there's a worked up sketch Mr. Plod the policeman walking away after having done the job. Who's this now? Grandma, sitting in the comfortable corner chair by the gas fire, casts cast a warm glow over her knees and face. She has been muttering her prayers for years, an epic litany of contrition. For what? I shout in her deaf ear, Grandma, what? I got married. Oh, then she left me. She was a curious one. <laughs> That's what she said to me. Um, a portrait I did about somebody. This chap wanted to buy a Morgan for years and years. And by the time he retired and had the money to buy a Morgan, he couldn't fit in it. So I painted him into it. Uh, a painting in gouache. Yeah. Um, I think we're coming to the end of it, really. Ah, oh, that became a painting as well. The jacket, shirt, and shirt I'm wearing at the moment. Dad in his tweeds. Encore? I don't know. Time stands still on the underground. So I drew, drew myself on the London underground. I think that's my dad knocking on the window. Probably to ask why I haven't been to Mass. And um, what we've got here. Oh, yeah, it's Mr. Shithead. I don't know who I was aiming that at. There you go, and that's the end of that sketchbook there. Taylor on. There. So that's it. That'll do until the next time. Cheerio. <laughs>